I'm convinced nothing is impossible for the Lord if we will participate, if we will cooperate, if we will humble ourselves, if we'll submit, if we will submit to him, if we will forgive. But interestingly enough, what it takes to forgive is really the same hard attitude that it took to surrender to him to begin with. Because to forgive somebody, you've got to put him ahead of what you want from that person. To forgive someone, you have to love Jesus more than you love how you would like them to change. <laughs> you have to love him more than the apology you think you deserve. You have to love him more than anything or anyone. A good thing, a right thing, even what he wants for you, from them. You give it up and you put him first. So what it takes to forgive isn't just saying the words, I forgive. It is giving up your life. It's giving up your desires, your expectations, your rights. Because you're putting him first. The way I like to say it is our hearts have been affected. They've been affected. As we live life, um, our hearts get affected by the words and the actions of others. Uh, sometimes they're affected by what people don't do, not just what they do, but what they don't do. But our hearts are affected. And if we don't take care of our hearts and resolve these issues, through forgiving, our hearts become infected. And then our hearts really get away from us. We can really deceive ourselves, and we are on, before we know it, we're on the path to the unthinkable, doing things we never thought we would do. So it's so key. I love what it says in Proverbs 4.23, above all else, that gets my attention, guard your heart. That doesn't mean build a fortress, keep everybody out because somebody's going to hurt you. It's take care of your heart. Process the issues of your heart. Forgive one another. Give thanks in and for all things. That's all part of taking care of your heart. Keeping short accounts. Putting Jesus first. Not putting people ahead of Jesus. No matter what, the real issue is always relational and the key component to any relational issue is the heart. But here's where it starts. How about your heart? Has anybody affected you? Has anybody offended you? Has anybody wronged you? How about your heart? Who or what has hurt you or offended you? Or what have you lost? What do you think? How do you feel? How have you responded? What have you said? What have you done? How has it affected you? You can start with your heart now processing the issues of your heart, pouring your heart out to the Lord, pouring your complaint out to the Lord. I pray that it will lead to giving thanks in and for all things, and I pray that it will lead to a decision of canceling the debt. They owe you nothing. Imagine a marriage where the husband and wife forgive one another, humble themselves, ask for forgiveness. Imagine a family. It starts with the heart. You can have a fresh start for your heart. It's never too late.